All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, a Nigerian lady identified as Doris Ama broke down in tears in a video she shared on social media after a travel agent gave her a fake visa for 2.5 million. While some are of the opinion that the visa application is easy and can be done independently without needing an agent, we can help but f to feel her plight. Um, the dwindling state of things in Nigeria keeps fueling this jackpot syndrome trend or the trend and fraudsters are starting or they've been taking advantage of that situation. So we want to ask today, what are your thoughts on this visa scam and this jackpot trend that is happening, right? You know, um, what's the best approach for it? Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 You can also tweet at us at Show Africa one with the hashtag Show. We're going to thread us too, that we show Africa. <laughs> yes, so I have to put that in my, we have to increase that now. So you have to thread us everywhere. Now, um, so it's important for us to first of all establish um, like a foundation for this conversation. Ways is not just any show. We're actually very passionate about young people. We're passionate about the things that affect the Nigerian youth. Of course, again, by extension, the African youth. And if you look at the trends, you know, the people that are actually, you know, rushing to get their passports and all of those things are young people just trying to go and get better lives for themselves. And these are the people that have decided, you know what, I don't want to go into fraud stars, I don't want to do anything. A lot of these young people are really, really hell bent on, on this, um, what's it called, undergoing that um, jackpot matter because they just feel like if I go to another climb, I'll do better, I'll earn better income, I'll live a better life, right? So it's a no-brainer. If you go on, uh, especially on YouTube, right, most of those sponsored ads and most of those things that come out on your timeline, you see, oh, how to migrate to Canada. Even on Instagram now, you're getting a lot more, right? How to migrate to Canada the right way, how to migrate to the U.S. Even now when Canada decided, you know what, they can convert your visiting visa, into a work permit if you're able to get a, a job. You know, that's mm -hmm. something trended so much. If I, I had to ask so many people, finally, when I believed that, okay, it is true, was when a friend of mine that lives in Canada told me that, oh, no, now it's possible. You can actually convert your Canadian visiting visa to a work permit. They'll give you a work permit to be able to stay there and work. So why I'm saying all of this is you're young. You're always online, right? I don't know how people still fall victim of visa scam. So I get it because I've been trying to do some visa applications. Trust me, it's frustrating, especially the U.S. embassy, the, I mean, U.S. visa portal. Like you're literally filling a form, right? NJ, in two seconds, it locks you out. So once you quickly type in your details and everything, just copy your, your that uh, form number. So that because as it logs you, you keep on re-logging in. At some point, I got tired. Mm -hmm. So the last applications I did, the last set of applications I did, I had to call my sister that is in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Do you know that the thing didn't lock her out one second? Mm -hmm. She filled up all the form. I was on the phone with her telling her the things to, 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 to help me. So she was able to fill up the form for me. And all that I didn't have, because it is really frustrating. And that's why you see that when you go to, especially with the U.S. Embassy, if you go to the embassy place, you see all those people, oh, you want to from, you want to do this. They are, they, so there's a thriving market around the, the bottlenecks that people face in just obtaining a visa. So there's a thriving market for that. So in that thriving market, there are sincere people that will truly help you. Are we talking about dates, getting dates for interview? There are sincere people that will truly help you get those things. But in that sincerity, we have like a a number, a couple of, what's it called, a, a huge number of fraudsters within that space. So how this girl was able to fall victim for this, I don't know. But I can say to, I mean, to anyone, visa is something, visa application is something that all you need to do is to go online and find out. You'll see a lot of information. You understand? Worst case scenario, worst case scenario, I don't even know what to say now. Maybe worst case scenario is now, there are, there are certified bodies you understand that have like licenses to help you with all those applications but what are your thoughts have you ever fallen victim of visa scam and you know what happened well for me i haven't 
fallen victim because you will be you on the <laughs> internet you are one <laughs> or a business come before but i have heard and i've read about you know different people who have gotten into that predicament and but for this particular um instance i was wondering first of all okay 2.5 million i'm wondering what visa application costs that much are you is that 2.5 million for the entire family or just for one person and then i went reading and i was researching and i saw that oh recently i think in march or so some um uh i, I can't remember his name i didn't put it down but he was arrested in you know uh and he was charged with i think 11 counts bordering on forgery bribery this so he's one of these kind of people who but unfortunately for him he got caught he's a scam he's Artist. a scammer so he's a visa scammer that's what they call mm -hmm. him so he's a visa scammer and he scams on canadian visa mm -hmm. so he tells you you know he'll help you out he's an agent and he'll help you out with your visa application and you pay and then um you know when they're questioning you they always ask you questions like how much do you charge and all that and he charges all the way to 1.7 million for a one month visa, Canadian visa. <laughs> I'm like, it's it's amazing. I'm you know, it's amazing that people still fall victim for things like this, but we all fall victim for something. Yeah? But for something like this, the information is out there. If you Google, you know, the website mm. to get the application or how do I apply, a lot of people put it on social media. So these things are out there, the information is out there. So the fact that people are always on social media and yet they fall victim this, for this things is like borderline this. going back to the fact that we have a poor educational system here. Yes, because... Yeah, go ahead. Yes. I think we... Um, how do I put it? Because we're so used to... I mean, we're all quite educated here. So it seems very absurd, you know, that ah, you can just Google it and stop. But you notice that a lot of people... Are just they just have a phone and they don't really know the capacity of what you can get from the internet. Like um, I recently downloaded the chat GBT thing because a friend of mine was talking about it, of how he edits all his emails via that, and it will shock you that as far as this thing is spreading, there's still some areas you know where it's just phone call or it's just they just get the smartphone and all they want to do is just tick tock you know we can see that ah, we have likes and something but reviews there are always reviews on things you know there are always reviews on even people so i don't know how you know she got into that phase because <laughs> you are smart enough to do a video of you crying that has gone viral now on Insta blog, but you were not and in the video you know able story yeah able to do your due diligence you know via just Google really like literally just Google like how much is this supposed to cost Juliet and so let me explain something <clears throat> getting obtaining a date. For visa interview right now mm -hmm. some people charge as high as um somebody called me sometime last year and said oh i have to get them that he can get dates blah 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 and all that that he was going to charge with maybe four million naira. that's express hmm? express wait now you the talk say you can google where in the google would you google it that it will tell you that it's four million naira that is the price do you understand what i'm saying what is happening here is that people are taking advantage of the problem that we are facing and then using it as because now i have someone that if you want to get a date she can charge you as as low as 200k or 150k do you understand but somebody called me and said i can give you a date but for four million i said for what i now said okay 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 so in my head i was thinking is it for the family no per head i, want, I wanted to i was waiting for you to per be, head. ask you that's for your entire family right? no for per head so when he said like do you hear yourself like you literally i mean i think if i check my phone i'll still see that chat you literally think i'm that desperate to travel outside of the country and spend four million naira just to get a date a it, date that i'm not sure desperation too. wait oh, a date that i am not sure that i'm even going to be given the visa yeah. now that is one somebody else also called me and said okay there's this something that they're doing with the us blah 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 
I should come and pay $40,000 to get the visa. I say, for what? Is it? <laughs> See, I'm the wrongest person to scam. Because for me... $40,000? Uh, like... If you they, have access to $40,000, then I but No, but wait. But guess visa. what? A lot of people are doing it. Now, what now blew my brain? One of us here, one of the uncles told me how somebody paid $500,000. For this same Canadian migration something. To get a passport. And it was fraudulent. Which passport? Canadian migration. So, I'm trying to explain to you that. This no, thing. Sorry, sorry. sorry I didn't. <laughs> okay, oh, it's not adding up now. Okay, it's not adding up. It's we'll take a break. When we, when we come back from the break, it will add up to you. Stay with us. <laughs> we'll open our phone lines. I, li I literally want to hear how much people have spent in the name of Visa. Yeah. Stay with us. You are still watching ways. The ladies are still arguing whether the five hundred thousand dollars is a lie or is it true. No problem. So it's our ladies' night out, and we're discussing this visa scam. If you've ever been scammed before, or you know somebody that's been scammed, do you understand? Or you are still currently going through a scam? <laughs> Just tell us. You understand? Uh, please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to the rate one eight zero three eight four six six three. You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa one with the hashtag Wayshow. You can thread us on at Wayshow Africa as well. Yeah, our phone line is now open. The number to call is zero seven zero two five zero zero seven seven four nine. That's the number to call. Remember, turn off the volume of whatever device it is that you're calling us from, so we can hear ourselves. It is not ridiculous. And I'm telling you, the person... It is ridiculous. Hey, <laughs> hey, and it's the truth, right? So this guy that calls me up, for instance, that yeah. says I should come and pay four million naira for a date. We can still... The hill. Four million naira for a date. Four people we will be what? Wait them. now. Four people. Four, four times people. four is what? One, 16 million. Yes. Yeah. How ridiculous is that? dollars is how much? No, I'm talking about 16 million naira. take my entire family out to a holiday somewhere in the seaside. <laughs> You know, so so I'm I'm trying to tell, and this one I'm saying it is not now, it's not like today. It was like maybe like three or four years ago. The four million is let's let's even you know let's let's that's ridiculous. But for five hundred thousand dollars, yes, yes, you know, and you you it might sound listen, it might sound ridiculous to you, but I can tell you for free how much people have paid. In the name of relocation, right? The only people that are escaping these things are two people. You are patient and the kind of person that is ready to go and do the work. Because mm -hmm. guess what? All you need is information. And that's why I say that. That's why I'm very passionate about transformative education, right? Mm -hmm. Because if you have, you know, if you are educated, right, there is no way you will fall victims for all of these kinds of things. Once you are educated, right, a lot of people don't want to do the research. They don't even have the, all that energy to say they want to go and check on anything. But you can But ask I can now, tell you for free, so many people. No. Research, you can ask the next See, person, let me tell you something. Ask your neighbor. No, with, ask around, with even the current situation of how the visa structure is right now in Nigeria, it has even made it worse. Do you understand? It has made it worse. For somebody like me that I am very comfortable I feel my forms. There's no visa I have gotten in this life. Do you understand? That I've not filled my form myself. I've not done the, what's it called, all my bookings or my hotels, my everything I do it, booking on my date, but myself. Do you understand? But when you go onto the app and you're seeing, so most of these agents, they've gone to block, block, block all those things so that, do you understand? They can get people to patronize them. So how do you expect to, you know, to, to beat that? So the only way I think that some of these scams, whatever, can, can you probably pipe down a little bit is if, first of all, they relax some of the, um, the, the bottlenecks within the embassies. Because if I am browsing from Nigeria, right, mm. I would experience a lot of glitches. glitches. But if somebody is abroad, that's why now, what people are doing now, I saw it in one of these, there's a guy that his specialty is to help you relocate to Canada and USA. And he's saying it now. I saw it on his Instagram post. He said it that you can actually send your details to somebody living abroad, just like what I did. Yeah. They'll help you fill the form. Yeah, because the it is actually very, very stressful. But you, they can still scam you in that one now. Uh-huh. 
No, but they can't scam you because at the end of the day, you're the one that will be. No, you. This kind of things are friends and family. Mm -hmm. I would never have done that if it's not my blood, my sister. Do you understand? Scam you. If it's not my sister, so I'm what saying if to you. The person that relocates does not have any family there, or any friend. So my well, the so point I'm trying to make is, until this jackpot trend, and it's not going to drop anytime soon. It's not, gonna, it's not dying down anymore. Because guess what? As I'm talking to you now, I have like four families that are leaving this September. That's why it's, for me, it's not just being educated; it's being informed. Yeah. Mm. More being yeah. informed. You're always if you're always on social media. They're posts. Even watching they are people news. to follow. If you say, if you type in visa application, you see a few people who you can follow on Instagram that just give advice, mm. and then you know what to do. Mm -hmm. So, you see, I understand education. You don't even need it. Half of these people who you call uneducated, who are following victims, are on social media. They're on Instagram. They're on TikTok. They're posting. And as much as people are posting, you know, social you know, content, people are also posting informative, informative content. and educative content. So be informed. See, it's, you know, the lack of knowledge is not the excuse that is required. No, it's no excuse. Thank yeah. you. So it's not just you saying, oh, you fell victim. It's based on your ignorance. You have, you have, an, yes, you, you have the knowledge, savings. you have the power. A lot of these people, where do you get 2.5 million from? In this hard time. In this hard time. And then you go and you do not do proper proper um, background time. check. Come on. So the person that told me to bring $40,000. Hmm? Let me that, know where you stay. Wait, know no, where no. your office Let me explain is. something to you. You see, let me tell you something. People are forgetting that. No matter how informed some people are. I'm telling you that people like us still fall victims for no, these no, things. No, you know yes, why? Of course. There is a bit of desperation there. You see me like I did like this now. There's nothing you can do to shake me or rattle me. If I was desperate, I would have I would have gone ahead to make that payment. But I'm to not make desperate. forty thousand dollars. Yes. Because the, the visa wait now, the visa gives me access to a lot of things. You know? And for somebody like, that you want wait now. For somebody that you want to do so many things, right? Yeah. You, you don't mind having that handy, right? And that's why I'm so grateful to the US government, it. right? Extending our visas to five years. I like Canada own. It is the length of your passport that gives you the length of your visa. So it, 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 so it, it just gives you that, it blocks up your mind that, okay, whenever you want to travel, there's an emergency, you don't have to start looking for a visa. So that's one side. Desperation, right, is what causes a lot of these things. If I was desperate, I would have taken that offer. But well, you see, when I started asking questions, like wait desperate. now, desperate in the sense that a lot of pe these people that have blocked off their mind, first of all, they don't believe that there's anything else that they can make in Nigeria. Like, they can, I can't earn any income again. I cannot do anything again. The only thing I can see myself doing is that if I leave this country, my life will be better. Okay. So at that point, when your state of mind is there, there is nothing anybody will tell you. Do you understand? That will bring you back. And if anybody tells you at that point that Mary, with only 500,000 naira, I can get you this, I can get you that. Mary, you will cough out that money, even if, if you are a pauper. You still said 500,000 naira. At least that one is still in Mary, money. even if it was 10 million they called. No, sister. Even if they, I'm telling you. you sister. That's what I'm, you. You're comfortable. Whoa. You don't get it. So you are not. So you are not comfortable here. No. You are still going you are to go not, and You are not this amongst office. the people that are their customers. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So when when you are at that state of mind where it seems like you know what, it's either I do this or I die, right? Yeah. Anything at that point that anybody tells you to do, you will do it. So that's where these people are. Now when this guy asked me to bring that forty thousand dollars, I said okay, no problem. Will it guarantee the visa? No. What will it give me? Well, you know the thing is there. So what are you doing exactly? Do you know what I'm saying? And you tell me, okay, so do I need to pay everything I want? Yes. I need to pay everything mm -hmm. at once before they file it. I say, uh-uh. So you don't have anything at stake. It is all my money that will be. I say, don't worry. I'm not that desperate. I actually like the idea for the visa, That's but I was not that des I was not desperate. But guess what? I know so many people that are still dragging now in court on top of that matter. Mm. So what I'm saying to you is that, you see, your state of mind must be ready to say, okay, you know what? 
whatever happens, if it works fine, if it doesn't work fine, that way you now go through the legal process. And some people are in a hurry. I know people that have taken two years to get their documentation to be able to file and everything. Now they finally got in their visa. Two years. Do you understand? Some people say, no, 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 no. I can get it for you in three months. I can get it for you in one month. And you say, okay, okay, okay. That's what happens. So all of these things are tied to desperation. If you're not desperate, you can never fall victim of any kind of scam, as far as I'm concerned. NJ, you want to say something? Why are you laughing? <laughs> See, uh, for me, I still stand by, I, I don't get it. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand it. But I, on the other hand, I understand your point of view. You know, desperate uh, times, times call for, for desperate, desperate measures. measures. But I don't have 2.5 million to pay nobody to get me no visas. I'm here, I'm Nigerian, and I'll stay here until I can find my own way out. And uh, I'll make sure it doesn't cost me an arm and a leg and a video on Instagram crying. Hmm. So I think people should, moving forward, people should try and get involved, informed. It's, it's okay to be on your phone, um, you know, out of... Uh, 24 hours to be on your phone for about for more than half of the time but try and get informed try and learn something new every day if something if you really have the time to save 2.5 million yeah. it means because when you this is how i think about it when you're doing when you're putting down 2.5 million or you're trying to save 2.5 million which is a lot of money that's it <laughs> that's a percentage of for that kind rate. of a girl yeah do you understand for that kind of a girl I wouldn't even do it. And I don't have it <laughs> to do. How so much more you that you for you have. to do 2.5 million, listen to this calculation. For you to do 2.5 million just for the visa. You know that after the, the I think I don't know if they still they still do those charges where after you've been granted the visa you pay another sum at the embassy. Yeah. I don't know if they still do that. No, that's your visa fee, it's not um, a particular Fine. fee. So after that, mm -hmm. you're gonna buy a ticket. Mm -hmm. So when even when you were doing that form, when you said that four million, I was thinking, wait, this thing will buy one, two, three. How many I asked the guy, I said, would there be ticket involved? He said, no, ma, it's just so for the. I said, ah, uh -uh. package deal. And I asked him, I said, people pay this. He said, yes. I would rather do a holiday to seashells, <laughs> do the, go, go with somebody and sponsor someone. Let's go. Okay. Than to wait after you're that. You're talking like this because you have options. Oh, well, listen, you're going to you're going to need to Pray. buy a ticket. Wait, now you're going to need to buy a ticket. Let you're me tell you, you need to when the time for that, yourself. listen, when the time for that ticket money comes, it will also show up. You are talking like this because you mm. have options. Do you understand? I have you need to put yourself, no, you need to put yourself in the state of mind where these kinds of people are. They have not seen, so you know, when somebody has completely lost hope that there is no other option for me, I have to do this. And well, don't be shocked. Use that to Let me tell you something. Don't be shocked. Banner. This same girl, right? She does not mind saving money again, but this time around, she will try to ensure that it is the right people she's talking to. No, the problem to say is she that her family to members the country. The, and her friends and people around her, the people who are going to, who she's going to have to scam to get 2.5 million or to get again. more money. That's what we're saying. Let's tell ourselves the truth. This girl doesn't look, I'm not saying that she's not working, but she doesn't make enough money to want to put down 2.5 million for visa. If you if minimum if you're going to school, your minimum school fees, even for a PGD, is like you're looking at anything more than about from five thousand pounds, if it's pounds, or mm. and that is based on discount. Mm. So are you not thinking about your survival? Like it doesn't make sense. And this is the kind of thing that we keep doing. So you get the visa, you you borrow money again, or you have to scam people in order to find yeah, to get yeah. money to buy a ticket. There, and then you get there, there and then you become a liability jobs. to them. And then they keep coming back to say that Nigeria. And that is the reason why this process will be elongated. Because as much as people want to come, people are going there and giving Nigeria a bad name. Mm. So that's the reason why they would Hold on to all your passports so that a, few, a lot of you won't be able to travel. It's not because they don't want the airlines to make money. But you're going to their country and rather than being a good citizen, you're going there and causing catastrophe and adding to their problems. And I want to say to anybody that really wants to japa, um, people, a lot of countries are, have really, really relaxed on some immigration laws because they are actually looking for certain kinds of skills. Yeah. 
So instead of going through all these people that will scam you, you understand? Why don't you check the... If you, fo if you follow the news, get yourself informed, rightly, like um, NJ said, right? Get yourself informed because there are... You can become a truck driver. You can become a farmer. Whatever it is that is your craft, is your skill. Yeah. It, there are so many countries looking for it. Did, did you hear that Germany like that. has opened up their, their borders you know, to, to, to Nigerians as well? Because now they are seeing what, how uh, Canada, Canada is benefiting yeah. from it. Because what they are looking for is just that they don't want burdens. They want yeah. skilled workers. They want you to bring your capacity, your whether it is your, your work of your hand or your intellectual capacity to their country and add value to them. And of course, as in adding value, you also they would also add value to you because you are paying taxes and all of that. They give you better health care, better amenities, better infrastructure. So why would somebody wake up? Because for me to go and pay $2.5 million to a scammer, I know first of all that that route was not a legal route. Is there somebody there? Loma, you're live. Hello? Can you hear us? Hello? Can you hear? Yeah, it's your live. Hello? Hello, can you hear us? Yeah. This is Loma from Asia State. Okay. Uh, it, is, it is too much desperation. Too much desperation. Desperation? That makes people to fall a victim of this account. Too much expression and not being contented with where you are. A lot of people in this Nigeria are doing well, are making well, they are making ends meet in this country. More than people that are in Oba. But people here will be thinking that the area is good. Before you know it, the expression will set in. They will start. Looking for a way to go to that place. Before you know, they fall a victim of trust card. They should see, be contented with what God has given to you. Be contented with where you are. But I want to ask you, my sisters, this, what would I tell my mother about the meaning of this Japa? My mother is in Igbo here. Japa. Okay. How, what, how can I explain it to her? If I say that people there, Japa, the woman will look at me. What does it mean in my language? Oh, yeah, thank no. you very Angie, much. help us. <laughs> Jakwa is uh, <laughs> <laughs> Salo. Salo. Uh, What's Jakwa running like you want to run away in Igbo? Yes, Indina Agwafu from Nigeria. Indina Agwafu from Nigeria. Indina Agwafu. <laughs> That's Jakwa. Indina Agwafu. <laughs> <laughs> like you want to jack her. I you want, want to run away. Salo. Yeah, mm -hmm. just people trying to run away from the country to That's find it. a better life. That's just yeah, majorly what it is. It, you know, it's just Nigerians always thinking that the grass is greener on, on the, the other, other side. side. That's it. Until you get there, and then Nigerians are there washing dead bodies and doing mm. ridiculous kind of jobs. Come on, where people see Nigerians need to get to the point where we understand our own authority and our value. We need to stop devaluing ourselves. Gonna I know that things way. are bad in the country, but running away without a plan is as good is as bad as you just jumping off third mainland bridge. Because really, you go there, you become a liability. You either end up in jail or you end up back in this country with nothing, and you're made to start from the beginning. Mm. Meanwhile, you come back to this country and your mates that you left here, who thought you were, you know, living prosperous in out of the country. They become governors and then you are back to square one begging the same way you got out. I think, I think it's also a mindset, you know, because some people would actually rather prefer to be in jail in, in the Obodo Ibo than suffer in this country. Because they'll get fed every day. You, I mean, do you understand? So it's, it's, it's all a mindset yeah, kind a of mindset, thing, you know. I don't know yeah. why anyone would want to be in that state of mind, but um, I just hope people can learn from mistakes at least when you don't have to always i feel like you don't for me how i live my life i don't always have to fall victim i learn from other people's mistakes yeah. so that it doesn't you don't always have to tell the same story make mm -hmm. your own mistakes but you know the way they say that people are that are living abroad that they are always um, falling victim of their relatives when they will send them money to let them build house mm -hmm. 
Do you understand? <laughs> she always fall in victim of them. They will come back and they will just see foundation. Meanwhile, <laughs> they've been sending money for 10 years, hoping to see a mansion when they arrive. It's the same thing. I saw a lady, a video. You saw that lady the recently. Man, oh, yes, the and with company. all these real estate company popping up here and there and all of that, where I, do you see oh, most of these real estate companies, eh? It is, it is, um, they are targeting diasporans. Yeah. Most of their, their businesses are diasporans that are buying those properties. So they are managing So you, them. you would think that somebody will be smart enough to say, no, I cannot fall victim. Let me go and get, but people still fall victim. Oh, top real estate companies in Nigeria, like. You understand? <laughs> so Google is your friend, right? It's not a cliche. Mm -hmm. It is, it's actually, there's absolutely nothing you're looking for. Go to YouTube, go to, and you know, you have to find a way to identify the fake accounts and all of those things because there are ways to always determine this thing. You just need to have that willpower. But please, above all, let's avoid, you know, avoid desperation. Is it Sam we have? Quickly, Sam, you have like a minute. You waited for the end of the show to be calling. Mm -hmm. Sam, you're live. Hello. Quickly. Go ahead. Hello. You're live. Hello. Quickly. Hello. Go ahead, Hello. Sam. You can hear you. Hello. Oh. We can hear you. We have to go. Sorry, Sam. I think maybe the phone lines had issues because I really would have loved to hear um, what, people, what people had to say about this. But thank you so much, ladies. Mm -hmm. We had thank fun. You. Had if fun. you've not joined Thread yet, go join and follow all of us. Ambassador of <laughs> yeah, I don't become ambassador because I must blow on that app. It says I'm not, I, I have not blown on the other apps. This one, I must blow there. I can't miss this opportunity again. <laughs> I cannot miss this opportunity. All right, thank you so much, ladies. Now, before we go, ensure you can follow us across all social media handles at Wish Africa. You can interact with us further, drop a comment, and more importantly, follow all our engagements on social media, like, share, and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Now, if you missed our quote for today, here it is again. There are some frauds so well conducted that it will be stupidity not to be deceived by them. <laughs> That's so interesting. <laughs> Very interesting quote. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. Also, bring another great conversation to your screen. Ciao. Bye.